Okay, so let's take a look at uh, the Excel sheet now. And we'll, first of all, um, if I'm going to compute these, um, <coughs> um, since this is just the standard, the uh, variance of the uh, means, I can do that. So I can take and do variance and highlight these means and that gives me 0 0.028 approximately and then this one is the average of the variances can compute that that way and that's 2.27 uh, approximately so um, I can 0.28.46 So in this example uh, my F is going to be uh, 14 times 0 0.28.46 uh, Eight four eight six divided by um, the average of the variances, which is uh, two point two seven six two point two seven six two point two seven six one. All right, and uh, so I can compute this. And bring in my calculator here, and so I have 14 times 0 0.028486 divided by 2.2761, and so that's equal to. Uh, 0.1752. Okay, put my calculator back. Okay, so that's my um, calculated F value. So this is my uh, calculated. Now, when you do an F test, um, you need to compare your calculated value to the value in the table. So if the calculated F value is greater than the F value from the table, if F calculated is greater than F from the table, then you have um, statistical significance. Then one of your, in this case, one of your dice is better than the others. One of your die is better than the others. Statistical significance. Okay. Um, so let's. So now we have to figure out how to look this up in the table. Now, if you're following along in your book, how to look it up in the table? If we look back on the table, we see that we have. Uh, two different degrees of freedom that we need to calculate. There's a degree of freedom freedom for the uh, numerator and there's degrees of freedom freedom for the denominator. Now it turns out that the
Uh, the numerator is the variances between treatments. Um, and since there's four different treatments, the degrees of freedom for that one turns out to be 4 minus 1 equals 3. The degrees of freedom for the denominator, though, is the uh, degrees of freedom within treatments. And so we have four different treatments times um, 14 samples, but we have to take off one, we lose one degree of freedom, and so that's uh, 4 times 13, which turns out to be 52. So the degrees of freedom for the denominator is 52. So if we look up this, um, if we look at our tables, the next thing we have to decide is uh, which table to use, and there's one for a 10% confidence, there's one for 95% confidence, and uh, a couple other tables in there. So for this example, the one in the book, they used the, they wanted to have 95, be 95% confident that uh, statistical significance, so if we look at that and look at the 95% confidence level, um, if I look across the top, that's the DF for the numerator, and in this case I go over to the column that has a 3 in it, and then if I look across the bottom, that's a DF for the uh, degrees of freedom for the denominator, and I look down to the one that has um, between 40 and 60, and I'll choose 60, let's say. And so the value that I get is 2.758. So the, so the value I'm choosing is Okay, and so now I compare these two, and since, so I'm going to compare these two numbers. So, uh, uh, 2.758 and 0.1752. Since this calculator is less than the table value, there's no statistical difference between these numbers, and so there's no statistical difference, so all of the die are equal. There's no difference really between any of the die that we can detect at the 95% confidence interval, um, or even at a higher interval we could look up and we'd still see there's no difference between these two. Because this F value is so low, there's really no difference between them. Okay? So that's that example.